When setting up Seller Express's integration with BigCommerce for the first time, the first thing you need to do is log into your BigCommerce store. Once you've logged in, click on Users up on the top right. From this screen we can get the login information Seller Express requires to connect with your BigCommerce store. If you've used this screen before, you will most likely have other accounts. We would always recommend using the admin account because this account will always have the permissions that Seller Express requires to access your account. Click on the grey cog and select Edit. Once the screen is loaded, scroll to the bottom and make sure the option Enable the API is ticked. You'll see your API path and token below. Once this information is up, log into your Seller Express account. Once you're logged into Seller Express, click Inventory, then Import Big Commerce. Now we simply need you to copy and paste the information over. Your username is the name of the staff account you selected. Your API path goes into Store URL and your API token goes into API key. When you're done, hit Update. With these details added, we now go ahead to import our products from BigCommerce. This process is easy. To start, you select the correct import options. You'll find more details about each import option in this video's description. You also select these two tick boxes if you're looking to import the image and description from BigCommerce into Seller Express. When you're ready, hit the import button. As you can see, there's no need for you to export a file from BigCommerce. You simply import it directly by hitting this button. In future, if you want to add new products or update the stock quantities from BigCommerce to Seller Express, you simply come back to this screen and hit import. Thanks for watching this video. Please find more information in this video's description and explore and find out more at www.sellerexpress.com